мой бой. at the gym, had a shower, and there's no way I can hold a hair dryer up for long enough to blow dry my hair. So you're gonna have to take me as you find me today. Um, today's pajamas are some of my new favourites. Um, you will have seen these in a pretty little thing and boohoo haul. I'm pretty sure this was pretty little thing. Um, and it's their um unicorn pink logo onesie um which i love it's the most comfortable just oh i just love it it's like a onesie but it's not too hot and it doesn't kind of creep up in all the wrong places and it just fits perfectly and it's super comfortable and an so um yeah let's just crack on shall we and see what i've been buying this month um on the beauty side of life before we get into that though, make sure you ha, ha, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Um, I hope you're enjoying this month's um beauty theme. Um, so yeah, let's crack on now. We've done all that then. Okay, so the first item is from Primark, and I've been kind of eyeing these up for a while now. Whenever I'm in my local Primark, um, I kind of spot these and think, oh, I wonder. And then I went in a couple of weeks ago, and these are actually on sale, so what more of a sign do you want? Um, so I got one of those, and it is this gorgeous, I'm not going to turn it all the way around because you will get, look, uh, just so much glare going on. Um, but it's basically a three, um, I don't know if it's not three way mirror. What do I mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? It like folds in like a book. There's three mirrors anyway. And you can obviously angle these so you can kind of see all the way around. Um, and it's a light up one as well. It's got little LEDs in it. And it's this gorgeous like coppery color as well, which leaks all about the pinks, the coppers, the grays. You know, we know about now. Um, so yeah, I love this one. I do struggle sometimes if I'm doing makeup videos and it's a palette, for example, with no mirror attached to it and I've kind of got to have two palettes because I don't have kind of just a mirror that'll stand there. Um, so yeah, this is going to come in super, super handy to just have so I can just check things. Um, because as well, when I'm doing makeup for camera, it tends to be um, necessary to do it a little bit heavier to show up on camera, to show you lot kind of the pigments and the way the colours are blending or not. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it can get a bit scary in real life compared to what it needs to be for the camera. So this, I feel, might give me a little bit of... Um, just a way to just just keep it on the middle ground a little bit and just tone it down a little bit, which, you know, is a recurring theme for me. Also, super handy for traveling with, super handy for going and staying at poles with as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just dead, dead, dead happy with that one. Don't take much, does it? Don't take a lot. Next, very the excited. Next, I'm gonna show you some goodies that I got from TK Maxx. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a bit different with TK Maxx because they don't all keep the same stock in and the stock kind of changes and can be a little bit hit or miss. Oh my God, this visit was a hit as far as I'm concerned, particularly because I found a couple of things that I had actually been looking at um, on the Superdrug website the day before. So, oh my God, if I'd have ordered all this stuff from Superdrug at full price and then I'd found it in TK Maxx and I'd been like in tears, I think. First of all, from Nip and Fab, I got this uh, Kale Fix Clay Mask. I am such a fan of a 
clay mask. You can get a clay mask for basically any type of skin type, skin complaint, um, just anything. There are so many on the market at the minute and it's really important to kind of have a think if you're new to face masks about what your skin type is, about the reason that you want to use the face mask, um, any events you've got coming up. Like, I wouldn't particularly use a clay mask before an event if I've got an event coming up in the following day or two um, because they tend to be quite drawing so they will draw out any impurities so you might get a couple of little breakouts afterwards but as a rule if I've got nothing coming up I do try and use a face mask a couple of times a week at least um but yeah a good clay mask for me once a week maybe midweek or maybe on a sunday evening um is absolutely ideal and you, as i say you can get so many different ones i like to use a charcoal one um i like to use um a tea tree one the body shop tea tree face mask for me is like the daddy it's the best ever so this one is as i say it's the kale fix clay mask and this one says it's a two-in-one skin softening and decongesting face mask for dry and dull skill skill <laughs> dry and dull skill anyone uh, dry and dull skin with kale watercress and witch hazel so as i say it's kind of a declogging decongestant kind of uh treatment for your skin so it will draw out any impurities and also the witch hazel as well will be really good at kind of providing that sort of antiseptic almost um uh, I think it's antibacterial as well as witch hazel. It's a natural um, ingredient as well, which is just so, so good for um, if you've got any kind of acne or um, skin irritation or anything like that. It really calms it down, but in a really gentle way. So witch hazel is really, really good. Um, I discovered nip and fab around Christmas time, I think. I really started seeing nip and fab everywhere around Christmas. And I've bought a couple of their products over the last couple of months and been really impressed with the effectiveness the range that they've got is huge so there's pretty much something for everybody from moisturizers serums masks uh, cleansers toners eye stuff all sorts so if you are new to them go and have a look at the website they're also in boots and super drug as well so if you're in any of those, have a look. Another thing that I got from Nip and Fab again was this, which for a start, can I just talk about the colour? That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, let me tell you the price. Okay, so this apparently was, or RRP is $12.95, and I got that for $3.99 in TK Maxx. Um, so this, look at the colour. What a gorgeous, purpley, pinky, beautiful colour love this one so this is from nip and fab body and is the uh, bust fix night cream so it says here a supercharged night cream formula to plump the look of the bust and decollete area so like i'm sure we all do it but it, it just seems to be a really neglected area like we get super super involved in serums cleansers eye creams moisturizers night cream day cream for our face and we also get super involved with exfoliating creams oils um etc for our bodies and we sort of tend to ignore this area and also if you look i tend to find as well or I've, I've noticed in um older ladies you can kind of tell the ones who have looked after the skin like the skin's still really nice and plump um obviously there's lines that's fine who cares but it's just really interesting to note the difference in texture in this area than on the face and it's it's just we all do it it's just so easy to just miss that area um and obviously us girlies with the boobicles it's kind of been that skin is being kind of pulled constantly, if you will. So that maybe needs a bit more help. So this is apparently a really rich, um, really kind of plumping and firming moisturiser is specifically for this area as well. Now, if this works, I will be sleeping in a vat of it just from the neck down. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, really, really excited to try this one. So it says on the back, 
uh, a cream formula with an amplifier complex that works extra hard whilst you sleep to visibly plump and firm the appearance of the bust area. Uh, apply on clean skin in circular movements around the bust and decollete area for best results use nightly. So um, yeah, I'm just expecting this to be like a really rich plumping cream. Um, so I shall report back and let you know how this goes. This uh, RRP is $16.25 and I got this for $3.99 as well. Uh -huh. So I am at the minute trying to build my collection of makeup brushes. Um, obviously I am so passionate and love makeup and beauty so so much um but I'm still only at the beginning of that journey and I kind of whenever I do beauty videos it's more the fact that I'm just sharing my enthusiasm with you lot it's I am in no way saying I'm a beauty guru or I know what I'm talking about or I'm doing everything right and this is how you should do it I'm just super enthusiastic about it and I just love sharing it with you lot and you know, I'm just a normal girl who is just interested in makeup and learning as I go. And I really do feel that one of the things that helps um, to get better and to be able to try new techniques and new, um, you know, maybe different things outside of my comfort zone is to have good tools. Now that does not mean expensive tools, it just means that the right brush can make such a difference to a look. Um, I've used a couple of this brand's brushes over the years and over the years, over the past few months, and I've found them to be brilliant. The brushes that I've used have been really good quality, they've been really soft and they've just done the job. They can be a bit pricey, so obviously I'm all about the drugstore and um, so I've, I've not really bought a lot of their brushes, but if I do see one or two on sale, I would definitely add to the collection. So I've been and got a couple more as well. So they're both by Real Techniques. Um, and this one, I was very excited because it's an extra sharpener. So this is uh, an eye smudge and diffuse set. So we've got two brushes in there and it's kind of a, a really small, it looks fairly sort of densely packed, but I would say a medium density on that one. And then there's a very small, looking quite densely packed, almost a mini pencil brush type shape. Now, the reason I um, went for these is because I have quite small eyes, like the rest of me, and I have a little bit of a deep set going on. Um, I have been using an eye cream and that's kind of replumping that, but I've always had like a really deep set crease, which is brilliant because I don't have to do much work to kind of create that uh, dimension when I'm doing my eye looks. But I can find some brushes to be just too big so that when I'm kind of going into the crease, it ends up dotting above and below the crease and not actually getting into the crease. So I've purposefully being on the lookout for smaller brushes to kind of fit in there a little bit more um and these just look amazing for that one so this one says these retail at 8.99 and these were 4.99 so very impressed so i've got two brushes and a sharpener there as well and the purple so tis my favorite color then so i was really excited that i found those and then i kind of moved those off the shelf and saw this and it actually did the loudest squeal um this is the blush brush from the brush crush collection <gasps> you better be giving me a round of applause while you're watching this i can't believe i just said that and i'm not going to attempt it again and um, just look at that how gorgeous these brushes came out oh and i remember just seeing them in the shop and thinking oh my god they look beautiful so they're the purple glittered handle. But what I love about these handles as well is they're kind of squared off at the end. So they're a lot more ergonomic to hold. So you're not getting as much cramp or they're just easier to get hold of, which for people like Charlotte, um, again, Charlotte has had multiple strokes and is just the biggest badass on the planet. Um, but her grip is kind of impaired. So she uses like chunkier handled cutlery, things like that. So I just think to make it, just tweak the design a little bit to make it a bit more easy for people who need it to be easier to use. Absolutely perfect. I've always got my eye out for things like that. But yeah, I just think they just look gorgeous. 
and again it's a little bit of a smaller head on it as well so a oh, little face over here that should work really well so i'm so excited um that one retails at 12.99 and this was 4.99 as well okay so this one i'm excited about um i have recently discovered bh cosmetics i do have one of their palettes in the drawers over there to test for you that's coming up this month as well um so obviously i saw their logo and was like "Ooh, they always do quite exciting palettes let's have a look went over and saw marvicorn and was like what's this so this is a palette um in collaboration with marvin magnificent who is a german youtuber but that's about all i know so he does um makeup beauty videos on youtube that's it that's all i know I know nothing else call me ignorant i'm sorry i don't know um but anything that sounds like it's a unicorn and it's pink and got hearts on it i've just sold but then i opened it up you're not ready for this you're not ready are you ready can you see can you see him there's a little look it's a little pop-up unicorn just look at him He's so cute. So I'm assuming he's Marvicorn and just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the packaging for a start, can we talk? Let's talk. This packaging is gorgeous. It is just full on purple, pink, unicorn, just goodness. I mean, we've got highlighter shades. We've got, let me show you that way. We've got highlighter shades. We've got eyeshadow shades. So we've got, it looks like we've got 10 eyeshadows and three highlighters, but obviously go ahead and use your highlighters as kind of shimmy shades on your lids, in a corner, do what you want. Um, so we've got actually a quite cool, like you look at this palette and think, oh my God, but there's actually, there's mattes, there's shimmers, there are kind of more neutral colours, there are pops of colour, the highlighters are in totally different shades to suit any skin colour, I mean, that's actually really cool. I absolutely love the look of this purple there called Bahamas, um, this like teal green called Moana, I mean how gorgeous is that, and this, um, this uh, deep sort of hot pink called tongue pop if i could do a tongue pop i would have just done one there but it's like one of the saddest things in my life that i can't do a tongue pop it's just wrong it's just wrong i just can't do it so that retails at 17 pounds and uh that was 5.99 so yeah i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait and i'm trying as well to as i say kind of improve on makeup and i just i just want to learn about it you know when you just find something that kind of you really enjoy and it just makes you want to learn everything about it and i'm really enjoying practicing and feeling like i'm getting a bit better and i mean we can all just keep learning every single day no matter how old we are it's like just every day is a new opportunity to learn something new and to find something new that excites you and it's just i just really enjoy it and i'm trying at the moment to kind of push myself a little bit more and to learn as much as i can and to do more colorful looks or um you know just more kind of intricate looks um so yeah so i'm just whenever i get like a new colorful palette or a palette with like really bold colors in i just get so excited to be able to use it and like i don't know you just look at it and think oh what am i going to create with you and i love how makeup can just almost transform you into like a different version of yourself it's just it's such a good way of expressing yourself um and kind of you know sort of exploring creativity in in kind of your own way i just i just really like it <laughs> right i think we're on to super drug next yes we are we're on to super drug next and any prizes for guessing which brand i may have purchased some bits from from super drug yep revolution <laughs> um so first of all i've got the revolution blush goddess palette um which is a mixture of blush shades and highlighter shades again use them however you like um i love when i get 
um, kind of highlighter colours in a palette. Obviously not all highlighter colours work on everybody so I really like kind of utilising ones that wouldn't necessarily be kind of the most suitable for me to use as a highlighter like on my cheekbones etc but I love using them on the eyes um and kind of maybe using them as lip toppers so yeah they're really versatile so don't be put off if um you look at a palette and you think well I'd use maybe um you know all of the blushes or I'd use three of the blushes but only one of the highlight like there's so much more you could do with them so this um, caught my eye because the blushes are massively vibrant um, I'm not a huge blusher girl but obviously I do like a little bit of colour there just to kind of it just gives you a bit more um, makes you a bit more healthy looking and it just it does make a difference but I don't like it to be very very pigmented and I think because I'm quite pale it can look very pigmented and very kind of clownish very quickly and it kind of takes a lot of blending so anything that looks a bit more muted, um, like this one does, is right up my street. So they look a bit cooler toned and they go right the way from sort of quite an orangey peach colour through to like a pinky peach. Um, then this one I was just I would just say is a straight up sort of cooler toned pink. Um, and then this is a bit of a it's still like on the cool side of things, but it's more of a deeper um ready pink almost. And then we've got the four highlighters up here. These two actually look incredibly similar. I'm not sure how they're coming across on camera yet, but um yeah, these two are like very very similar almost like a mink champagne -y kind of color to them this one is beautiful like a yellow gold highlighter it's bordering on that lime gold if you know what i mean um and then this one which is the kind of deeper um goldy color as well which alix not sure what that was for the gold there don't know what the hand was doing so yeah i got that one alix up then I went and got two of the lip toppers from Revolution. I think these came out at Christmas time. I think these were part of the Christmas range and they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the hexagonal packaging, um, the lids, which are all glittery. I just love them. Um, so I got um, this one in Fortune, which is like an icy silvery colour, which just looks beautiful uh, i then got this one in exquisite which is more of your kind of pinky silvery shift to it which again just looks beautiful it's almost like a, a silvery champagne color which is gorgeous there is another one in the collection called um luxurious i think and that is um very similar to this one but whereas this is your pinky silver i think the other one is like a more pinky gold kind of color um so yeah absolutely beautiful uh, but that one wasn't in stock unfortunately um so yeah i can't wait to use those they just look super super beautiful and they look from what i've seen on reviews online as well um they look like a beautiful kind of sheer very very shiny very um sparkly lip gloss on their own but then to put them on top of a lip color and add them as they're meant to be as a lip topper they just bring such a crazy extra dimension to your lip colors which mm, looks beautiful so i can't wait to try them and report back shall i do a testing video for some of these products as well and include that in this month's kind of beauty makeup themed videos what do you reckon let me know in the comments Oh, I also got some of this eye mist from um, Optrex as well, which is meant to be um, kind of more of a moisturising um, treatment for your eyes. If your eyes are getting a bit tired and a bit hot and sore, um, spray this. You can spray it over closed eye. You don't need to put it in as a drop, um, but you can actually spray it over makeup as well and it won't dissolve your makeup. So pick me up some of that. Okay, this is the one I am the most excited about. Oh my oh god. And I honestly, I cannot tell you how much I kind of looked at it online and thought, oh my God, that looks gorgeous. But in person, oh my God, shook is not the word. But yes, I went and got the brand new shook palette from Revolution that came out last week. Um, it's in more of a tin packaging rather than the plastic packaging look at how kind of textured 
um, it is. And then we've got the Shook and the Revolution logo right in the middle there. You're not ready. You're not ready. Okay, one, the mirror is as big as the lid. But look. Look at the size of that mirror. Oh my God, it's huge. But then, oh, but then. I'm gonna have to show you this way. Oh my God. Just look at all those colors. There are 36 colors, 30 shades down here, and then six transition shades. You are definitely gonna find a transition shade for you in this row, whether you have to mix them or not, there's bound to be a transition shade for everybody. But oh my God, look at those colors. Just look at those colors. Okay, we've got mattes, we've got shimmers, we've got glitters. We've got neutrals, we've got pops of colour, we've got warms, we've got cool tones. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I was a little concerned when I saw it in initially, and I did put a side-by-side -side photo on my social media, um, that it was going to be very, very similar to the uh, Creator Volume 1 palette that they brought out recently. And I kind of tweeted that it looked like it was the big sister to it. And I still do think that, but there are enough of a difference to make them two completely different palettes. Um, the uh, colour theory is a little bit similar, just expanded upon, but the finishes are different. So it's not like they've used the same shadows in this one. They are completely different shadows. So I'm really impressed by that, actually. Um, the ones that are standing out at the moment are definitely this one, Aquatic. Um, this one called Leaf It Out is just the most beautiful, perfect forest green I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, this one called Date Night, which is like a black with the iridescent spangles in it. Um, I'm loving these down here. Uh, this one called Driven is beautiful. So I am definitely going to be testing out that this month um, with swatches and everything. So I won't do that now. Um, but yeah, so if you're excited to see how any of this works, make sure you subscribe and you stick around for the rest of the month. Oh! Um, so that was it for my little mini beauty haul this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which was your favourite and um, whether you've got any and whether you can give me any tips. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a really big thumbs up for me. Um, the more you like and comment and share, um, the more our beautiful channel is um, spread around the internet for more and more people to enjoy. And why would we not want a bigger Layla Land family? Let's face it, we are brilliant. Um, so yeah, go and do all that. Have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. There's no boy. Oh, there's no daddy. Oh, there's no boy. Alexa. Just what? Uh.